Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have big news on two fronts. First of all, we have Road to the Final upcoming. The loading screen yesterday confirmed what we kind of already thought was going to happen. Road to the Final is starting this Friday. We have live upgrading cards back in FIFA. It's been a minute since we've had a live card promo. I think all the way back to the World Cup with Path to Glory cards. Get ready for the fun of live card trading and just cards that upgrade. It means a lot for the market as well. We'll talk about how Road to the Final could impact things related to the market a little bit in this video today, but I want to take a look at that promo and just kind of do a refresher, right? What has Road to the Final brought in years past that we need to look out for and what could it be this year in FIFA 23? It's a little bit different than in previous years. So we'll talk about that and what we see and what we know about Road to the Final already with not really that many leaks out right now for this upcoming promo. Now we'll also talk about what's going on in this game at the moment with the content. Yesterday a bit of a quiet day but we had a really cool SBC. Props to EA for the Sebastian Haller SBC. We're still missing that flashback Balotelli though. Could today be the day or could we get that 82 times 20 back in the SBC section that we had last week that was really fun to try out last week uh, during Future Stars Team 1. So the potential of that today I want to talk through and of course the market in general with an upcoming player of the month that EA tweeted out yesterday. We've had Mbappe, we're getting Ben Yedder player of the month, and it's not coming for like a week yet. So that's kind of interesting. We already know when it's going to drop. EA told us in the promo video, and they told us who's the winner, Ben Yedder. So there's a lot of excitement around that, and kind of the hype is building for Road to the Final. At least I'm starting to get excited because this is one of the big promos every single year that we look forward to just because the live card upgrade. So we're going to talk a bit about that to start things off today. If you're excited for Road to the Final, hit the thumbs up. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Let's look at the Road to the Final just really quick. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this because I know many of you guys already know what Road to the Final is. But for those who don't, and just a general refresher for all of us, live cards from the three European competitions, Champions League, Europa League, and the Conference League. All the card designs, I believe, are already in the game. Uh, these are the card designs right here. Basically the exact same as last year. We we sometimes point fingers at EA and say, hey, change these up a little bit, but I maybe they can't based off of the licenses with UEFA. I don't even know. But the cards are pretty similar. And, uh, you know, at least this year, they don't look exactly the same as the Road to the Knockouts cards, right? Because we had earlier in this year Road to the Knockouts, and at least these cards look basically completely different. The Champions League cards look very different. The Europa League ones are pretty similar. Uh, and the, the Conference League ones have some different, you know, aesthetics around the outside. So it shouldn't be too confusing this year because in previous years the road to the knockouts and road to the final car designs well last year I guess that was were pretty close and they got confused uh time in and time out especially as people thought okay these cards are going to upgrade but don't get it confused which some people seemingly already have Remember, these cards, Road to the Knockouts that we had earlier this year, like Thomas Muller is the perfect example for right now. These guys don't upgrade anymore. This is done, right? This is a promo that is gone. The Road to the Knockouts, right? We've made it to the Knockouts now. Now we are progressing to the final. But look at Thomas Muller yesterday. He went from 60,000 coins when Kingsley Coman scored that goal to go up 1-0. He went to 80,000 coins, maybe even a little bit higher. Uh, guys, this card, Thomas Muller, does not get upgraded anymore. So don't fall into the trap with any of these Road to the Knockout cards. The, all of these, all right? No longer live, no more upgrades for any of these cards. Even like Chelsea plays Dortmund today, right? Don't buy a bombing unless you think people are going to buy him because they think if Chelsea go ahead that he gets upgraded. He doesn't, all right? No upgrades for any of these cards. But back to business, Road to the Final last year, just like every other year of Road to the Final, it's the similar upgrade path that we expect. You get a win right away, you get an upgrade. You qualify for each additional round of the tournament, and you get an upgrade for that. So it's kind of nice because your upgrades are a bit front-loaded, and it's easier to get an upgrade right off the bat, which is really nice from EA because that way a lot more cards get upgraded because you don't necessarily have to qualify for the next round right away to get an upgrade. All you have to do is win. Now, the thing gets a little confusing with, depending on when this promo is dropped, which it is this Friday, players that have played their first knockout game basically today on Wednesday, uh, tomorrow on Thursday, or yesterday on Tuesday, those games don't count for upgrades. So, like Milan won yesterday over my Tottenham Hotspur 1-0, Bayern won over PSG 1-0, whoever the PSG and the um, 
Bayern, sorry, the Bayern and the Milan Road to the Final players are in this upcoming promo. They will not get upgraded for that win. It will be the second leg that will count for their upgrade, and that second leg will also count for probably qualifying to the quarterfinals. Whoever wins that, most likely, you would imagine, would move on. So there's a potential for double upgrades, too, just like we had with Road to the Knockouts earlier on this year. And that's where the hype and where the fun is with these cards. Because let's be honest, guys, Road to the Final... EA really don't miss with the card selections, with the player selections. These guys, I mean, last year's team, Bale, Llorente, Kempembe, Ansu Fati, um, Telez was a great card for a left back uh, in the Prem. This Havertz card was really, really good to use. Mares was insane. Smalling was a cheap beast. Tolisso was Hullet Gang, I believe, from the start, or just about Hullet Gang from the start. Renato Sanchez, Denayer, this guy had so many games played, like 10 million games played on a low rated center back. Look at his price from 80, 90,000 coins all the way to 300k when Leon went on a bit of a run and he got upgrades and was expected to go even further, you know, in the competition and get more upgrades. That's where the hype is with these cards you see price rises like this right cards that are in packs that are low and then their team does well and they have the potential to absolutely skyrocket but that's also where the flip side of these cards are who remembers Kempembe from last year? I know a lot of you guys do. This is the guy that we made fun of at the end of the year. Not made fun of, but we made him go extinct in the market. That's a whole other conversation. But this Kempembe was 1.4 mil. So many people, including myself, were confident in PSG progressing throughout Champions League last year. And then all of a sudden, you remember what happened. Kempembe halves in price overnight as PSG are knocked out uh, in the competition and can no longer you know, move on. And boom. There he goes. He absolutely dies in price, right? We've already seen it this year with the Path to Glory cards. We've seen the rise of them, right? They went up crazy, crazy high. They were so profitable. But remember Bruno Guimaraes, how many coins people lost on that Bruno Guimaraes card earlier this year. That is the love-hate relationship that there is with these live cards on this game. Because one minute, you'll be really excited, really hyped because, oh my goodness, this guy's going to get an upgrade, right? And then the next minute, everything just changes. 180 and card price is absolutely you know, fall through the floor because so many of these cards, they will be valued and they will be moving on the market based off of team performance and how well they think or people think they're going to progress through the tournament. So it's definitely going to impact the market a lot. It's actually these live card promos, I think, are some of the biggest promos that make people lose coins every single year on this game just because of the gamble aspect or people buy these cards while they're in packs. Uh, like we saw with the road to the, uh, the, not the road to the finals, but the path to glory is earlier on this year. People will buy a road to the finals while they're in packs in the next week when this promo is out. And then even the, some of those cards, like we saw with the Kempembe, the favorites, right? A favorite gets knocked out and they drop down so, so much in price. I think this is one of the promos every single year that, you know, it does make the market drop in some regard because so many people lose coins that it devalues the market just so much. Uh, with this going on. So that's not a huge market impact to look out for, but since Road to the Final and Live Cards are always hyped anyway, I would say that this is probably still a decent time if you have cards that are in your team that you want to look to take the cash on. We could be looking ahead at maybe a bit of a market drop. I'm not saying it's going to be instantly today or tomorrow, uh, but maybe this weekend, right? Depending on how the content is released, how the cards look, who's in the promo team, Road to the Final always brings the hype, um, and it just depends on a lot of factors, right? How expensive these cards are, what the ratings look like, who is in the team, and we'll cover that, of course, as the week goes on. But Road to the Final, again, is a massive promo that so many people get excited for. So, uh, like we said with the great coin losses, there's great potential investments as well, like that Denayer last year. So it's just so much is going on with these cards, and there's so much risk involved, but it is a lot of fun. So watch out for that uh, to be probably, I don't know if they're going to update the loading screen today on a Wednesday. Last week they did, which was a bit surprising. They showed us some like leaks of who was going to be in the team, right? The, you know, they gave us the clues or whatever. Um, I would not expect that today. Usually that's a Thursday type thing, but watch out for the leaks because I do believe pretty soon we will start to see it road to the final leaks about who's going to be in the promo team and stuff like that. And that'll be big info for the next couple of days. So that's all related to road to the final. I don't want to talk about it too long because I know a lot of you guys know what it is, but it's a big promo. I said that many times, but it's the truth. I'm excited for it, especially for the live cards, some of the most fun cards to trade with in this game while games are going on in those competitions. Now, let's go to something else that EA confirmed yesterday. EA Sports. This is odd, right? This does not happen that often. 
EA just randomly tweeted out yesterday that Ben Yedder is the player of the month winner for league on he's he's won it guys we thought he was gonna win he did no silly business here four goals in three games for ben yetter and he has won now the interesting part about this is in the little video they posted on twitter they told us when the sbc is gonna be live they like hey we don't care about the leaks man we're just gonna tell you when the sbc is gonna go live now it's gonna be in the game february 21st which is a week from yesterday on a Monday, which is really, really weird that this is going to drop on a Monday. But for whatever reason, EA want to drop it then. That's got me thinking a little bit because with Ben Yedder getting this Player of the Month card, what is his rating going to be and why are they delaying it a little bit? Well, the first thing I thought of was Player of the Month Mbappe is still live. And if you remember correctly, uh, Player of the Month Mbappe was delayed a week, right, when he was officially announced um, you know, back when a couple Thursdays ago, when he won the award, he was officially announced by the by, by EA, I think, and by uh, the UNFP page on Twitter. And he wasn't dropped that day. He was dropped an entire week later after Team of the Year was in full swing. So this SBC was delayed. So there's 11 days left to complete it. And I wonder if that goes in to why EA is not releasing this Ben Yedder this week because I really thought this could be released you know in the next two or three days and it's not going to be so that's kind of an interesting situation the other reason I think they maybe are delaying this is could it could be Ben Yedder might be in the team of the week today because he had another great game over the weekend against PSG and their win over PSG and he is a favorite to be in team of the week this week and if he were to be this Ben Yedder um, would he would probably get an 88 rated team of the week card today and then after that a player of the month would be upgraded over that card which might end up making his player of the month an 89 rated card as it looks right now if he does not get a team of the week today then I believe his player of the month would either be an 87 or an 88 which would be a bit unfortunate so maybe that's part of the reason why EA is not releasing the player of the month Ben Yedder but we'll probably get some more info on that just of course seeing if he is in the official team of the week today I think that's a really big part of team of the week today if if Ben Yedder is in now a quick a couple more things about this this Centurions Yedder has started to drop right 388k he was 430,000 coins yesterday he's been dropping off since this news broke again I really think that the player of the month is going to be at most 89 rated I would not expect him to be 90 I'd be a little surprised if he was I guess EA could do it but the upgrades for player of the month this year have not been that fantastic I think it's going to be either 89 and if he doesn't get a team of the week it might be an 87 or an 88 so this could still be the best version of Ben Yedder on the game but like we saw um, with Mbappe people might just end up doing this Ben Yedder SBC because it's an SBC for Ben Yedder it's not as crazy as Mbappe of course not going to be as expensive so it's all going to depend on the rate what the price of it will be but of course as you can see this card has started to drop off as people know that hey i'll maybe be able to just craft a version of ben Yedder to get via sbc and not have to worry about having the tradable card on my team so they are looking to sell the one that they have so just be careful with the centurions um ben Yedder because of that ver of that reason now speaking more about team of the week today let's talk right now in the here and now today on fifa two big names potentially in team of the week today first one Yedder. we covered that second one cristiano Ronaldo, right? He had, what was it, like four goals last week um, in a route. But the problem with this Cristiano Ronaldo card right now is EA messed up his price range. So last week when he was first uh, put on the market, he was 160K min price. They lowered him to what he should have been. He went down to like 60K, 67,000 coins. He was in the low 60s. And then he went back up a little bit to like the 70s after he scored his, his goals. And we like people were like, oh my goodness, he could be in team of the week. And then EA randomly updated his price range again. So his minimum is 108K. He is currently not selling on the market because his price is messed up. He is not worth 109,000 coins. He is unsellable because his price can't go any lower and he should be lower. Now, if he gets into the team of the week today, that's going to be super duper interesting to see what happens. It would be his first special card uh, with Al Nasser. And, uh, you know, it's probably only going to be 91 rated and it probably would not be as good even, in my opinion, as the rule breakers. You get higher shooting, but remember this rule breakers had extra boosted um, dribbling 
instead of uh, a pace or a shooting boost, right? Shooting was minus three from his gold card. So a 91 Ronaldo today, how much would that realistically be? I feel like it'd be 250K on the weekend. Might start off a little bit more expensive, but of course, if you have cards that would be linking this Al Nasser Ronaldo, you think about Anderson Taliska, a lot of people have invested in this card, his inform for a potential rise. It's already up 38,000 coins. He was 26K last week. Ronaldo scored his big goals and then boom, this guy shot up in price. And now he's up even further. Same thing with like Al O. Um, you know, I just don't think there's going to be like a ton of hype to go and buy these guys. They're already up in price. They're already a bit inflated. And the Ronaldo, you might have a little bit of hype today. Uh, and I know it's going to be difficult to, to link a Ronaldo if he gets in team of the week. But I do believe that that, especially the Anderson Fliska, is very, very invested in. So we'll have to be careful to see what happens with those. If they rise a lot today, I would consider selling in the hype on some of those investments. Um, and Ronaldo, I mean, he should get in team of the week today, but it's not a guarantee. So we'll keep a close eye out for that. Also, he's got a center back Luke Shaw is in the prediction here. I haven't seen actual leaks yet for the team of the week, but that's one of the things we're looking forward to today on Wednesday for some content. Now, what else would we expect today? Well, we did have another player SBC yesterday with the Haller. Could we finally get the flashback Balotelli? That's an SBC that I'm very much looking forward to because I feel like it has a lot of potential, right? A lot of potential. Hopefully EA do a really, really nice upgrade for this card. I know the links are not that good, but just because it's Balotelli, if they gave him five-star skills, maybe they upgrade his uh, work rates a bit and uh, of course give him a massive, massive stat upgrade. This would be a very, very fun card to use. So I'm fingers crossed that we could get a Balotelli flashback today. I also feel like this could be the day where they take a day off of a player SBC and then maybe come back with another one on Thursday or vice versa. I would imagine that one of these next two days before we get to Friday would be a, a day off of the SBCs, if you will. Now, of course, the 84 plus times five is going to refresh again today. Watch for your 85s, probably a little bit of a price spike. Same thing with the 83s. Uh, we'll talk about fodder in a second, but last Wednesday, we had a really interesting upgrade pack released. That was the 82 times 20 SBC, and I was not expecting that SBC last week. I don't think anybody was expecting it. What I'm gonna do right now is, is look it up and just kind of go back and see if I can remember um, what the actual uh, price of it was. Sorry if this is going like really fast on flipping here, but 82 times 20, just zoomed all the way to the bottom. It was 85,000 coins. It was an 83 and an 84 rated squad to get it done. There was an inform requirement in the 84 squad. And in the 83 squad, it was 285. So maybe even some more demand for 85 today. If this refreshes, I could see another pack like this or a completely new one today dropping on the game. I feel like we'll get some other sort of gamble SBC pack today. I don't know what exactly it's going to be, but keep a close eye out for that. I would love it if the 8220 returned because a lot of us, I think right now would love a pack like that. Uh, just as we did in team one, I would be abs I would I would consider doing the icon pack if I had an 82 times 20 to go and craft while using 80 plus player picks to get the 83 and 84 rated cards that I need maybe uh, and along with packing future stars. I've packed like four or five future stars this week from the 80 plus player picks. Yeah, they've been the fodder ones, but it's good fodder putting into other SBCs good for crafting. So don't sleep on these 80 plus player picks, man. I know that gold non rares are going up. And if I could give you guys a tip right now, if you're doing Doing any of the 80 pluses the best way to do them if you take a look you go uh golds gold non rares are 600 coins like insta snipe like only one page so really really hard to get so most of them are selling for about 650 and they're even hard to get here just a really easy way to do this because there's way less people doing this is just buy gold rares for 650 look at these gold rares expiring for 650 on bid there's no competition here you can get on the bids it's literally the same price as buying the commons at 650 even though the SBC doesn't require the commons, just buy the rares because it satisfies the requirements and you have a lot less competition and they're so much easier to buy. So that's just a cheeky little tip if you're building those 80 plus player picks that might help you out a little bit there. And then um, again, yeah, 82 times 20 today. Oh, fodder. That's what I want to talk about a little bit more as well. What's going to go on with this fodder market? Because 84s are 4.5, 4.6K. They're actually down a little bit. 85s, 13K. They're down a little bit as well. It's kind of like, you know, we had a little bit of supply yesterday 
through a couple of those SBCs that were given out, like Haller had two different squads inside of it, right? So a little bit of pack supply there, not really that much. But, you know, this fodder market isn't moving a ton at the moment, but there's not, besides a couple of player SBCs, there's not a ton to make it move, right? I mean, even yesterday, you look at these cards, there was barely a spike. I think today is kind of like a last chance day with fodder. I feel like there will be something released today to make fodder have one kind of last spike, especially on the 84s, maybe the 85s, maybe the 83s as well. But then after today, if you have fodder, I think I would maybe take the cash on it. Um, because I think if nothing drops today, it's going to start going lower as people sell their investments. They start thinking about road to the final, thinking about packs being open this weekend. There's always a bit of a sell off on fodder on Thursdays, right? We look at that and see that just about every single week. Um, so just keep a close eye on that. The only other thing to keep in the back of your mind is though, that the 89 plus icon pack refreshes on Friday, like the 87 plus hero player pick did last week. So that could mean that maybe Thursday night, Friday morning, fodder isn't too terrible of a look if there's gonna be a lot of people wanting to go and do that 89 plus FIFA World Cup Prime Upgrade pack again later on this weekend. But I think I would expect to see prices drop off a bit first before I would wanna to look to buy now or buy soon for any of that. So hopefully there's another SBC today that makes fodder, you know, spike up a little bit. And then uh, in the next two days, we can see it drop down a little bit. And then the last thing that is, I guess, maybe something that could happen today, we got two tokens yesterday in the uh, homegrown 11 friendly Ford Fiesta, future or uh, first owner Fiesta is the real name. We call it Ford Fiesta, right? But this was our 29th and 30th token. 29th token was winning one game, 30th token to win all seven and complete the first owner Fiesta objective. So, again, some people are like, Nate, are we going to get more than 30 tokens? EA's website, and this is all I'm going off of, I believe there's only going to be 30. EA has not said a thing about bonus tokens on the website. Um, I know like the EA live stream said something about bonus tokens. I don't know, but if we were only getting 30, then 30 is done. This was 29 and 30, these two tokens right here. So technically according to EA's website, and again, their wording can always be better. They can always explain things a little bit better than they do usually. Uh, but that's all the tokens technically. So if you're grinding for the tokens, if you're, you know, trying to figure out how do I get my last few to get whatever rewards I want to get done supposedly the tokens are done well we'll see if anything along those changes uh and if the store token packs were actually bonuses or if they were not so again not entirely sure but watch out for silver stars today because if you haven't finished that silver stars from last week that uh is going to reset for today and we could potentially have tokens in there if those store packs were indeed bonuses so just to keep close eye there because that's going to be a point of interest today on this game as well now let's talk about fodder just a little bit more let's talk about the market a little bit more i really did not trade yesterday i sold the kavara donut that was my last card that i had to sell um you know i mentioned the market potentially dropping a little bit yeah prices are down maybe just a little bit but more so prices are just pretty even right i sold that uh the kavicha at 650 and i believe kavicha right now is just over 600,000 coins like 615 the 619 so it's not really like prices are down prices are just kind of in the same area as they have been i still maintain the same um i guess the thought process for a lot of this market though i think it's going to either continue to stay the same a little bit today or maybe even drop off a little bit more today that would probably depend on the content but uh, a guy like malasia body of shill i think those guys actually dropped more yesterday than other cars did uh, yeah, 370 for Malasi. He was over 400. Body of Shield was like 120K. And I believe now he's like just over 100,000 coins. Yeah, 105. We see here one of, you know, a couple hundred low prices being listed up there. I think these guys that were in the mini release are going to continue to drop lower. And if it's a low tier card, specifically from Future Stars Team 2, I think that uh, we're still looking for like tomorrow on Thursday as a potential opportunity to invest in these with a little bit of marquee matchup supply coming in once again and probably impacting these cards and maybe even waiting until Friday with the road to the final promo. Some of these guys could maybe go down a little bit on Friday as well, depending on what goes on uh, with the content there. Watch out for leaks today. Hopefully we get a little bit more information along those lines of road to the final. And uh, I guess the last thing we have as well is a Julian Brandt. This was one leak that was kind of just uh, dropped yesterday. It was maybe overlooked a little bit, but my Dortmund fans, Brandt is won the player of the month award. So this could be another SBC we see today, maybe tomorrow. 
um, on a Wednesday or Thursday, probably coming pretty soon. So Brandt POTM, hopefully it's cheap and uh, hopefully it's 88 rated. I don't know if those are predicted stats or if those are official stats, but uh, the Bundesliga needs some more love and especially Dortmund links would be uh, would be pretty nice. So we'll take that uh, as a pretty cheap SBC, hopefully in the game pretty soon. But if you're excited for Road to the Final, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you do have any questions about this promo or anything going on in the game right now. Love to get, uh, you know, responding to some of you guys down there. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already but ha hope it's a good wednesday today hopefully team of the week is spicy two good team weeks in a row that would be nice give us ronaldo give us ben yetter we'll see you about it in the stream today guys if it's been a the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out